if you've been following my channel, I've been like videotaping from this corner. It has some beautiful graffiti on it. It really does. And if you step away, like way over there where they're building, there's a, a big bearded guy. <clears throat> I gotta quit holding my phone like that. A big bearded guy like Wizard. This is a, a taller building that you can see. And um, plus, the sun came out in Portland today. Um, plus, the sun came out in Portland today. I've I've been concentrating on three books. Those are uh, Phil K. Dick's Ballas, which I've been remiss on. It's too close to home, and I've talked to Ramsey about that. And then I've had such an enjoyable ride with, with Amy at, from the Dusty Bookshelf. We've been reading The Magician, and why haven't I read this decades ago? If anybody is into Crowley or the occult or anything of her mom, because he, you can see his style from Razor's Edge, from the knowledge of that, and how he quotes from different sources, classical occult sources, from the Upanishads to um, Solomon's Key, or the Bible, or any of the Hermetic texts, booktuber words. But uh, this is a book about Aleister Crowley, and if you're in him at all, you can see the similarities, and you can see the differences too. But it's more than that, it's a great novel in itself. I'm not going to review it, I haven't finished this. Amy just informed me that she has. And she liked it. At first she wasn't liking it so much. And then the book is gonna be a reread for me, but I've been turning I've been threatening to turn Brian at Bookish on to, to uh, Harry Cruz and Starlover for his first Harry Cruz for over a year probably. So I'm carrying that around with me. So this is gonna be a uh, I'm, I might not be checking in for a few days, so I'll leave you with this. Ta ta.